Knowing where to start exploring is the hard part, because our city certainly offers something for everyone. It's easy to have a great time here, but we'll make it even easier for you. In this video, we'll share what we consider to be a solid two-day itinerary for people with an appetite for great food in our Midwestern culture and all within close proximity to the city center for easy navigation. So, are you ready to explore what some call the most American city of America? Welcome to Chicago. Urbanist Pete Saunders once said that Chicago's uniquely American character comes from being in the middle of the country and being the financial and cultural capital of the vast American hinterland. A lot has happened here. The perspective we share in our videos is just a glimpse into what life is like in this city. We hope to give you a taste of that. Before we get to exploring the city, you'll need a place to drop your bags. So let us recommend this hotel, Hotel Lincoln. It's away from the touristy downtown and right in the heart of Old Town. It's close to many restaurants and attractions, and you'll get boutique hotel amenities for a somewhat reasonable price, including a complimentary drink at the rooftop bar. Let's just say you didn't arrive too late on a Friday and have the energy to explore and enjoy some drinks. Perfect. Let us recommend you grab an Uber to one of our favorite hangout areas. Or you can also take the train where single rides are $2.50 and you can get a rechargeable card for $5 at Walgreens. After you've gotten that, head straight to Fulton Market and get ready to get a good taste of the local cuisine with lots of restaurants and bars to choose from. Maybe start at Time Out Market and you can pick and choose from the different booths. Then go to Cruz Blanca for Mexican telayudas and refreshing beers. If you're here on a Saturday during the warmer months, a great way to start your day is at the Green City Market in Lincoln Park. You can literally walk from Lincoln Hotel to get a feel for the local community and get a taste of the different specialty shops and vendors. And it's a great spot to grab breakfast. Right next to the market, you'll find the Chicago Zoo and Conservatory both free to the public and a great way to enjoy a more natural side of the city as well. From there, you can do a little shopping along Magnificent Mile, which is a super short Uber or bus ride away. Even though we're not huge in shopping, there's something for everyone, like the Eataly shop on 43rd East Ohio Street. You can also just make your way to the Millennium Park area and take a selfie at our famous Bean. Today is definitely one of the prettiest days in Chicago, and it's not too hot actually. It's like around uh, close to the 80s, so it's really good temperature. And you can tell there's everybody's out today. And unfortunately, uh, Nico fell asleep. <laughs> One of the prettiest days and Nico gets to go out and enjoy the weather and he just falls asleep. This is like if anybody had any doubt what this was called, it's Cloud Gate, even though it looks like a bee. <laughs> Left foot, right foot. Easy breezy. Five, six, seven, eight, throw. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right. If you have kids, the Maggie Daly Park is a definite must. Even if you don't. <laughs> It's fun in there. Then keep moving south until you hit the Buckingham Fountain. Need a cup of coffee or a pick-me-up? We have a couple of recommendations. Our absolute favorite is Capecito on 215 East Chestnut with great Cuban coffee and pastries 
You can also try out one of the many donut shops like the Donut Vault or Stands. Or you can head to Portillo's to cross off the amazing Chicago hot dog from your bucket list and get their chocolate cake while you're at it. When you're ready for lunch, take the train to Chinatown, one of the neighborhoods we recommend exploring. Take your time to look around, browse the different shops, rest your feet at Ping Tom Park, and select among the many restaurant options available. One of our favorites is Xing Shang Yung, or QXY, where they make fresh batches of delicious dumplings right in front of your eyes. All right, here we go. Before you know it, the sun is close to setting. Stroll down the river walk, maybe take the architecture boat tour, and get ready for some drinks. Make your way to Beatnik for great cocktails and a view of the river and festive vibes. To close out your first night in the city, walk around town to enjoy the lights, and before you know it, it's deep dish time. Gino's East on 162nd East Superior makes a really killer one. Start your Sunday at Lou Mitchell's, a 100-year-old establishment that prides itself in serving the fluffiest omelets, great coffee, and donut holes. Put your hand like this. This, this one's pretty big. This one has a lot of hash. Yeah. 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 I, do. I like theirs. It's like... What did we go for that? Oh. <laughs> so when you're at Blue Mitchell's, you can definitely order half portions. Um, they do like they do double portions, right? I think it was. So like, if you order one egg, it's actually two. If you order two, it's actually four. So be aware of that. And uh, if you find that things might be too big, then definitely ask for a half. Portion. Another great neighborhood where you can spend your morning is Hyde Park, which is a little farther south, but worth the trip. For breakfast. The place to be is at Valois, one of the oldest cafeteria-style restaurants in the U.S., and it's perfectly located to hit the ground running to explore the neighborhood filled with history. And of course, great food. We've shared some of those restaurants before, so look for a link below. And while you're in Hyde Park, do make sure to check out the DuSable Museum, dedicated to the study and conservation of African American history, culture, and art. Another favorite is the Museum of Science and Industry, the largest science center in the Western Hemisphere. You could easily spend a whole day here or pick and choose the exhibits that call out to you. Another great neighborhood that we want to recommend is Pilsen. It's very picturesque and culturally rich with lots to do and see. You might not be able to do both neighborhoods in one morning, but we just wanted to give you the option. We love it for the street art, the Mexican bakeries, the vintage shops. There's also a great coffee shop called Jumping Bean, and there's the National Museum of Mexican Art. If you're here during lunchtime, Carnitas Uruguan is a favorite, but there are many other taquerias to choose from. This is us at La Vaca Margarita Bar, but they open at four, so keep that in mind. So this is the point in our vacation when we would normally take a little nap, <laughs> but, but for those of you with lots of energy to burn, Chicago is the city of museums. Just some of our faves are the Wonder Museum, great for those who love modern interactive art, then you have a bunch of options downtown. There's the Art Museum of Chicago with super impressive exhibitions, including art from Van Gogh, Picasso, and Andy Warhol. We were there not too long ago showing Nico the Thorn miniature room, which hopefully one day he'll grow to appreciate. <laughs> if you're visiting multiple museums, keep in mind that it may be more affordable to get the city pass. There's lots to explore on the museum campus alone. You have the Field Museum, the Adler Planetarium, and the Shedd Aquarium. If we had to pick one of those three, the Shedd Aquarium has our heart. They have very impressive exhibits from different parts of the world and a super fun dolphin show. When it's close to sunset, a great option is to catch the beautiful vistas of the city at night from the Navy Pier. The pier itself is a bit touristy, but the views of the city aren't. We still enjoy it very much. Or do what most locals do 
which is to stroll along the lakeshore. At night, you have some even more fun options. Again, most close to downtown. Like catching a stand-up comedy show at Second City where celebrities like Tina Fey got their first shot at awesomeness. You can also catch a play, or you can get tickets to a game. We have plenty of great teams to choose from. If you love music, grab an Uber to catch a show at the amazing Green Mill up north. Always a great vibe and even better music and drinks. If you just want to close out the night with a very Chicago dinner, we would say this is the spot, Italian Village. Our city is known for Chicken Vesuvio, and this is the place to get it. We'll have a video on the Italian Village very soon. So yeah, we're, we're at the Italian Village, and I really like it in here. I like the space. I like the way it's decorated, like the ambiance and the vibe. And then, uh, you guys all know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's very simple, but it's like super well executed. Mm. With the, the, you know, the juices, you dunk it in there. Very, very good. It has very good flavor. You can really taste the garlic in there, so it tastes really good. Really good. Can y'all see why you should visit Chicago? There's certainly much more to explore in this awesome city, but we hope this list sets you on the right path. We invite you to subscribe for lots more Chicago content. We always try to keep it useful, honest, and fun for y'all. For any questions or comments, or if you have something to add to this list, make sure to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.